Hi, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and this is the Canon Pixma MP640. This is a multi-function inkjet printer that offers scanning, copying and printing as well as Wi-Fi, Ethernet and USB 2 connectivity. Now I'm going to do things a little bit different with this review. Uh, in this video I'm going to be bringing you a setup guide. This is the first time I've got the product out of the box so you're going to experience the setup procedure exactly as you would as if you'd purchased the printer yourself. And then in about a week's time I'll be bringing you a full review showing you some of the features and my thoughts as to how the MP640 delivers on its promises. So inside the box we get a fairly uh, decent getting started guide. We also get a uh, caddy for the um, uh, printing of CDs and DVDs and I'll show you this obviously in use once I bring you the full review. We get some information about fitting the print head which I'll be talking you through in a short while. I'm in the UK so we get a three pin uh, power uh, cable, three pin plug on one end, figure eight adapter on the other end. And then we get a package here, let's just pop this open and inside this package you get a couple of discs on one of them is a setup CD and on here you're going to get some uh, instructions and then this one actually looks no different at all but it's for the Mac so you've got one for Windows, one for Mac which is going to guide you through the setup also includes the full manual as well. Then we get some uh, 10 by 15 centimeter 4 by 6 inch sample pack of paper, some information about digital media, European warranty, some more information about Canon media, a read before you set up the machine manual, so we'll have a brief look at that before we actually go ahead and install the various uh, bits inside the printer. Some more paperwork, network setup troubleshooting, so the fact that they've included a, a manual about network setup could uh, spell potential problems, but I certainly hope not. And then we get some more media. I have had a sneak peek inside the quick setup guide, and you use this MP101 media for both printing your first few prints, but also for the head alignment after you've installed the head inside the printer. Also inside the box we get a package containing the print head which I'll be installing in a short while. And then this printer actually works on five separate ink tanks. So you get the uh, cyan, magenta, yellow and black and then a bigger uh, photo black I think that is or photo gloss black so you get a bigger cartridge of that. So obviously that's the ink that the printer uses most of for printing. So I'll show you those being installed in the printer as well. So I'm going to briefly pause the video, plug the printer in and then walk you through setting up the Canon Pixma MP640. So now you're going to experience this exactly the same way as, as I am. Uh, I'm told to switch the printer on first so I've pulled up this front display and we've got the on off button situated here. So I'm going to switch the printer on and then according to the print head instructions I have to lower this front paper feed. I'm going to pop that screen down and then I'm told to lift up the whole front of the printer. Now that's as, uh, as high as it lifts up and this uh, carrier here for the print head is meant to situate itself in the middle of the printer. So whilst it's doing that I'm going to open this package here. This contains the print head This is the print head that I'm going to install inside the printer and I'm following this sheet here uh, which tells me how to install it. So let's wait for the printer to do its thing. I was hoping that this would open a bit higher but it's obviously not going to open any higher. And then I'm instructed to open this grey part 
of the print head container here and then the print head has an orange cover on so I'm told to remove this orange cover which I'm doing now so that's the orange protector cover removed we've got some contacts here and here for the print head and then the print head actually goes in so this isn't very clear the print head will go in this way like so and it's just popped in there's no clicking or anything it's just literally slid in and then I have to reclose this back down and now it's the procedure of installing the ink cartridges so we're going to start off with the black ink cartridge and to open them we're just told to pull the orange tab and that releases all of the packaging and then each ink cartridge has an orange uh, cover on as well and this has to be rotated round in the direction of the arrow and that takes the the cover off of the ink cartridge and then it's just a simple matter of popping the ink cartridge in and then pushing down until we do get that click and then a little red light comes on to show that the ink cartridge is installed correctly. So I'm going to repeat that with the other ink cartridges. So we've got the magenta next. And then the last one is the big chunky photo black, which is a lot bigger lot bigger capacity and again we remove that orange cover and then we pop that inside the printer as well and we've got all of the orange lights there now once they're all in I'll just check that they're all situated incorrectly I'm going to close the top of the cover here and then the printer should go through the charging process for getting the inks ready so again, I'm going to pause the camera, wait till the charging process is completed, and then I'll just take you through the initial setup guide for getting the first print out of the printer. Now, just while we're waiting for this print head to charge uh, the inks up, I'm just going to quickly walk you through a little bit of the printer. We've got a nice LCD color screen here and some navigation buttons here, up, down, left and right, an OK button, plus, minus, a back two soft keys here which will uh, be pushed depending on what the option is on the screen. We've got on off button, a navy button, a home button, black and colour selection buttons and then a stop button here. We've got this exit path which is where obviously the prints will come out and this has a little extending part here and if I just close that front up I just want to show you there's two input paths for the paper as well. There's a little paper tray at the bottom here which you can leave uh, filled with just regular A4 paper and then at the back of the printer there's a further tray which has a nice action like so and it's in here that you'd put speciality media such as gloss paper and then to get that back down into the printer it's just a simple matter of lowering it back down into the, the back of the printer and then just on this side here We've got uh, a little door that swings open and it's in here you can put memory cards and then just below we've got a picked bridge connection which is where you would connect a digital camera. Uh, the power supply goes in the back left hand corner and then in the back right hand corner we've got connections for Ethernet and USB 2. So the print head has finished aligning and charging the inks and according to the instruction manual we should be printing out an alignment sheet. So I've loaded some A4 paper into this bottom tray, lowered this output path so that the paper can come out and then on the screen we're being asked to select the language that I want the printer to operate in so I'm going to select English and then it's saying head alignment required and I'm asked to actually load some of that MP101 paper so instead of the regular paper that I've loaded I'm going to put in some of this paper that Canon supply with the printer so uh, grab this paper, I'm going to assume that we only need one sheet but I'm going to load a couple of sheets in just in case. Now 
Now, there is a corner cut out on this sheet here. Not quite sure uh, why that is. I'm told to load this into the rear tray. So I'm going to pull this rear tray up and load it with the uh, with that corner cut out on the top corner there. And once it's loaded, I'm going to press OK. And then it's going to perform a print head alignment. Now I'm assuming I've got that paper in the right way, which I haven't. You need to switch it around so that the whiter side is facing up. So this is printing a print head alignment sheet. The screen's reading that it can take up to five minutes to complete this print head alignment. Take around about five minutes to print, possibly a little bit longer. And the only guidance we're given is again in this quick start manual. It's a very bad printout, but it says that uh, to make sure that the pattern printed is similar to the one that we're getting in the manual, well, you can just about make out that it is. There's a few gaps missing, as in the printout. I'm not sure why that is, uh, but it certainly looks very similar to this very poorly printed manual. So I'm assuming that the print head alignment is OK. It's asking me to uh, load plain paper in this lower cassette, which I already have, and then push OK. And then we're ready to go. Now in the full review, I'm going to show you the menu system and how you can configure the printer and exactly what this little setup guide does. But for now, I've connected the printer via Ethernet and I'm just going to very quickly try and set up using Mac OS X Snow Leopard, see if we can get a printout. So I'll give you some idea of how long the setup process takes. So this is via an Ethernet connection. Hopefully I'll get that connected fairly quickly. Uh, you might not get a lot of narration while I'm setting up. I'm going to remove this extra sheet here. I'm assuming that if I ever need to realign the print head, I want to use this special sheet again, so I'm going to save that for later. And let's move on over to the computer and see if I can set up the printer in Snow Leopard. OK, so I'm over on my iMac, opening up System Preferences. And then I'm going to go into Print and Fax. I'm just hoping that via that Ethernet connection it's going to actually show me that the Canon's listed here, which unfortunately it isn't. So I'm going to click the Add button. My Add Printer window has come up here and it's showing me purely the Adobe PDF setup and my Xerox Phaser printer, which has just uh, disappeared off the list because that is already set up. So it's not actually listing the uh, Canon printer as yet. You know, back over to the printer and let's just have a look in this menu system. Um, we're on copy at the moment. Uh, right, this is actually a rotation uh, control here, so that's quite nice. So let's go back all the way around into settings and we've got maintenance, wireless LAN setup device settings, template print, maintenance, and background to wireless LAN. Well, we're not setting up via wireless LAN, we want to set up uh, via Ethernet. So let's go into device settings and into LAN. <coughs> Confirm LAN settings. So it's asking print LAN details, so I'll say yes. This is taking a sheet of paper from that bottom tray. Very fast print out. And then it's giving me the, uh, the various network configuration settings. So it's not actually showing any IP address as such. So let's go back. Change wireless or wired. Here we go, so it's actually on disabled LAN. Change wired, so we're going to wired LAN active. So it's now supposedly got an IP address. 
So let's pop back over to, actually let's go to the home screen on there. Let's pop back over to the Mac. And then let's go into system preferences again, printer and fax, and then to add a printer. Scanning, still not picking up the printer. So this is where we're going to have to delve into the manual because I thought that would be pretty straightforward. I'll tell you what we do is um, we will switch over to a USB connection and then at least see that we can set the printer up. Okay, so I've just plugged in the USB cable and it's asking me if I would like to download and install software for the Canon MP640 series. So I'm going to select install. This is downloading the software direct from Apple's website. This is one of the nice new features of Snow Leopard. In fact, uh, it will actually go out and find software. Uh, a lot of people purchasing this Canon MP640 with Snow Leopard are installing the drivers from the disc. Uh, one of the tips I read up on was purely just to plug the printer in and then let uh, Snow Leopard go fetch the correct drivers from the Apple website. So now this is happening, I'm, I'm assuming that once we've set up via USB, I'll then be able to switch back over to that preferred Ethernet connection. And also assuming that I'll be able to at least have the Ethernet connection active at the same time as having the wireless connection active, because I want to use a cabled or wired connection for my iMac, and then also be able to print wirelessly using a laptop um, within my uh, office. So this has now finished installing the printer. As you can see, we've got the uh, Canon MP640 series uh, shown as idle in my print and fax system preferences. We've also got a scan tab, so I'm assuming that the driver supports uh, both the printing and scanning. So to test the printer, let's uh, very quickly go into uh, my Safari. I'm going to select to print and send it to the Canon MP640. Just going to print that first page and then click print. And hopefully, we will get a printout printed via the USB. Status has changed to in use within system preferences, so that's good. We've also got a little here which is shown at the moment. Let me get rid of that. Now we've got the first printout from the Canon MP640. Now what I'm going to do now whilst I'm on camera is just uh, disconnect this USB cable which is the bottom connection on the printer. Uh, it's now, it is now switched to offline so it's, it's picking up that it's no longer connected. I'm going to remove it from the queue, my system preferences. 
Now I'm going to try and add that Canon MP640 back in again via Ethernet. Now this time it's actually picking it up. Now I'm assuming that's because the drivers are um, installed already. So let's tell it that it's in my office. Print using the Canon MP640 series driver. There's also here Canon Inkjet Network. So we can actually install it via Bonjour or via the Canon Inkjet Network. Let's go for that second option. Not sure what the difference is. And I'll just say Office again and then click Add. And then this should be adding the printer now via that Ethernet connection. So again it's picked it up, this is only with the Ethernet connection plugged in so it's definitely connected via that preferred network connection and I'm going to print this same page. Again status has changed in use. And that's now printing via Ethernet. So as you can see it was pretty straightforward. I think the big tip here is to uh, connect the MP640 to your Mac via USB first uh, to download the drivers and then once the drivers are installed you can switch to that Ethernet connection make sure the Ethernet is in fact selected. I'll just show you again quickly in the settings menu and then go on over to um, device settings and then into LAN settings and then just make sure that the uh, LAN settings are in fact active in the printer. Well, thanks very much for listening. I'll be bringing you my full review of the Canon MP640 in about a week's time. Come back soon and check out more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.